what's going on guys welcome back to the channel today i'm going to show you guys how to lower that hard drive space and i know this may seem like a random video but it's really not because we've been going over how to optimize windows and all sorts of games lately and that's simply because siege is in a weird place right now where there's not a lot of content around it so i'm trying to do things that are general or more games than just Rainbow Six because I know a lot of people are playing other games right now in between the new seasons. So with that out of the way, we're gonna lower this hard drive space here today. There's no way we don't lower it at least a little bit. And for people that have never done some of these strategies that I'm gonna show you here today, you might be seeing like 100 gigabytes freed up from your computer, which can be absolutely massive. So the first thing obviously to do is go to your file finder and then go over to whichever drive you're trying to clean up. We're just gonna use A for example. C is the one that has my Microsoft, it's pretty full as you guys can see but I store my games on my hard drive a so we're gonna go right click on this hit properties and the first thing you're gonna see is disk cleanup so you're gonna want to click on this this is a built-in windows thing and this should get you really started and as you guys can see right here recycle bin i have 45 gigs in there if you guys didn't know whenever you delete things they just sit in your recycling bin some people never actually delete those and you're sitting on hundreds of gigabytes and then the same thing with shaders you can clear these but right there we just cleaned up 45 gigs and we're going to delete those files and just let it go and this is just the first thing just to at least minimize things at least a little bit now i'm going to show you guys another thing you could do and i'm going to do this on my windows one okay because this is where all my system files are we're going to go properties we're going to go back to disk cleanup and you guys will see there's a lot more on this one and your first one might have looked like this but you could also hit clean up system files so by clicking this it's going to clean up the system files which in turn should lower that percentage use also i'm going to clear all these dump files mini dump files everything like that i'm just going to clear that and we have about one gigabyte there which is pretty substantial when we're talking about when we only have about four gigs remaining at the moment so i do that to both your drives these are the things that you really don't need so go ahead and do those two and once you're done with that i want you guys to come down to your bottom left area click on this and type in programs okay once you type in programs you should see add or remove program so click on that then have this sorted by size so this should be sorted by largest to smallest application size so this is something that's up to you but you should go through and see games and whatever that you don't play anymore and look at their size now one thing you should note is just delete everything that you don't want anymore which usually actually is a lot of things. So if I don't play Fortnite and don't have any Epic Games things, delete Epic Games, that would make sense. Just hit uninstall. Another thing you have to do is come way down to the bottom here and a lot of these will not have the sizes. So for Aim Labs, for example, or Call of Duty, these don't show the actual sizes to them. So you'll just have to, you'll just have to delete these by themselves. So Rockstar Games, uninstall, uninstall. But just go through here, delete everything. If there's nothing you want to delete here, that's fine. We're going to get into more things that are not requiring you to actually delete anything if you use stuff don't delete it just because it's going to save some hard drive usage the point of your drives in general is to store things so if you use it don't delete it so now i just want you guys to get to the settings menu from here we can go to the top left which says system click on system and then come down here to storage storage you guys will see the c drive is the one that's very full for me the a drive is not so much so we could start with just our c drive if you have multiple drives you could do this if you just have one big drive then just do this anyways go down to the third one you could do any of these really if you want to delete pictures documents or whatever but that requires you deleting things temporary files is the one we're really going to want to delete because this is most just things that we don't actually want so downloads shaders thumbnails temporary files all temporary files that really aren't needed so downloads are everything that show up in your downloads tab if you actually allocated one of your downloads to something it's not going to delete it. it's only stuff that sits in the downloads folder so go here once you have them you could select and unselect every ones you want if you don't want downloads to delete keep it there but if you do, do it there, hit remove files, and it should remove all of that. So we just freed up another six gigs on this hard drive, or I guess an SSD card. Now go back, repeat that same process for your other drives. If you want to do it for another drive, hit view storage uses on other drives. I could click on A. We've already freed up about 20 gigs between the two of them. We're going to do a lot more than that. And then you can repeat the process here on your other drive. Now we should have removed most temporary files, but some get left alone. Hit Windows key on your keyboard, or you could just click on this and at the same time type in R or you could search run. Either way, you're gonna to get to the same screen and I want you to do a percentage sign, temp, and then another percent at the end of it then hit okay and these are the remaining temporary files that are not needed so the best way to do this is just come to the top one you could either grab drag them all down or you could just go to the bottom type shift and then click on the bottom and that'll select everything there and go ahead and right click and delete 
you're going to have to give administrative access and anything that says it's still open just skip those there should be a few things there so i'm skipping a few of them but most of them should delete so you guys see 349 items recycled that stuff all needs to be cleared out we'll do that at the end we're going to do want to want to do one more final recycle bin empty right at the end once we're done with everything but for now we're pretty set here now i want you guys to get to that same screen again so windows are at the same time so i want you to clear out this and just type in prefetch so this is something i learned from an article and basically essentially what this is doing is this is storing up all this fetch stuff so your programs will load faster the problem is, is there's a lot of outdated things in here so we're going to want to clear out pretty much everything so get access to it and a lot of these things you'll notice you don't even use now there's one downside to this for the first few times you load your new programs or your programs it'll take a minute to get new fetch folders but after that that first time it gets all the fetch folders back in action so this will all just you know be irrelevant at that point so do the same thing go to shift right click delete and then skip everything that uh, says skip so there's only one thing here but we just cleared out a bunch more and you guys will see a lot more will pop up as you open new things if I open Google you guys see that a bunch new popped up but the thing is is this thing hosts a great deal amount of stuff that you have actually opened before so there's a lot of things that you don't need that's why I recommend you guys doing selecting all of them then deleting them now we've cleared probably a lot of space at this point and now we want to defragment any defragmentation that's going on within our drive so go back to this PC, find your drive that you're focused on, right click on it, go back to that properties tab that we were at earlier. And instead of in the general tab where we did the disk cleanup, we're going to want to do something instead where we go to tools. So just click one over, hit tools, and then hit optimize. Okay. So this is a defragmentation tool that's on Windows 10. And I have this set so it does it automatically, but you could just hit optimize here, click on whatever drive you want, optimize, and just let this thing go 5%. It might take a minute, but uh, as you guys can see, mine gets updated right quite frequently and you could do that by going down to schedules optimization turn it on and fre frequency you could have it as weekly daily i think you could even have it daily monthly whatever you want and then you can come down here and select all of your drives just like that hit okay hit okay then it'll do it automatically now as for some additional things that you might want to clear out this is specifically for if you game but go to your drive wherever you place your games at find your steam go down here and what you'll find is steam apps right here if you hit properties on it you'll see that your size should be pretty massive this is going to be all games downloaded through steam the best way to delete games through steam is to hit the steam apps hit common then find whatever game you are deleting so right click properties you'll see how much gigs they are and then you can delete it from here this is just something that doesn't show up on the programs thing. And I thought I'd mention it for those that actually care. So the navigation is quite simple. Steam, Steam apps, then common. Now, the last thing for you guys, if you haven't done this already, come down here, hit recycle bin, um, find your recycle bin. You can hit right here, recycle bin tools, hit empty recycle bin, or however you like to empty your recycle bin. But that should finalize it. You should have deleted everything else that was sitting here and you should be good to go. Your return should be much higher than these, but I'm pretty optimized. I do this frequently i have the storage sense on if you guys want to ever turn that on go to settings hit system go back down to your storage and then configure your storage sense you can have it delete all your temporary files every single week just the same thing as you did earlier but with this instead so you could have this set at every day every week every month then you can set temporary files delete temporary files that apps aren't using every you know 14 days one day 30 days 60 days whatever there's a lot of settings here but this should help you keep stay optimized keep your system pretty clean no more temporary files just clogging up your entire system people that have never done this before i'd love to know what your returns were even me who do does this often i think we saw like 70 gigabytes of stuff uh, between the two drives that is and that's pretty massive so i can't even imagine for people that have never done this before so let me know what you guys got out of this your before and after down below and i'll talk to you all in the next one peace